So I've started meditating. I had never heard of meditation. Well, I didn't even know what meditation was until uh, about nine or ten years ago. Uh, I went to a church function and they talked about meditation, and uh, I didn't understand it. I didn't. I didn't understand the purpose, or I didn't see why I would need to do it. They told us that you just you just sit down and you just help your mind have no thoughts. If you get a thought, then you dismiss it. And you just try to think about nothing. And I didn't understand. And I tried to, I tried to get why. I tried to understand why. And I didn't understand. So I didn't look into it at all. So recently I've been reading uh, Wayne Dyer and Abraham Hicks about source energy and uh, law of attraction. Great stuff. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And so I decided I ought to get it a go again. Abraham Hicks, um, in in one of their books, they said to just wear comfortable clothing and sit, be comfortable, and then focus on your breathing and any thoughts that come to your mind, release them and just let your mind be empty and but the good thing this time is that they explained why Abraham Hicks explained why to meditate and so I understood it better so the idea is that when you meditate you're you're uplifted because we are beings that came from source or in in my vocabulary, God, we came from God, we're God's children. When you meditate, then you are brought closer to source. You are like a cork in a, in a river. If you have a piece of cork, a piece, a piece of cork naturally will float. Uh, but if you take your hand and push it down, then it will, then it will go down. So meditation helps us to be helps us to release the oppressing thoughts in our mind or troubling or stressful thoughts in our mind. Um, and it gives our mind a chance to function without those heavy thoughts. So it's like the cork. Meditation allows you to take those thoughts off of, the, off of your mind just like you're taking your hand off of a piece of cork, the cork will float up naturally because that's that's its own that's its true nature is a floating thing. And so what they're saying is us being a part of source, being divine beings, we also will naturally be uplifted when we aren't pushing down our mind with uh, with so many thoughts from, you know, just just whatever thoughts that usually are crowding your mind. So I thought, okay, well, that is a good purpose. That makes sense. A, a purpose to, to become closer to God. That's a good purpose. And I'd go for that. Uh, or to feel closer to this Holy Spirit. Uh, and feel the enlightenment that comes when you feel close to the Holy Spirit, when you hear, when you feel close to Christ and God. So, uh, what I've been doing is a meditation slash prayer. So, what I have been doing is I'll set my alarm for five minutes, and I will try to relax and focus on my breathing, and just try to send the thoughts away. And once my mind is feels clear, and usually my a clock. Uh, it always rings quicker than five minutes. Or it always feels like it's not quite five minutes, but then my alarm rings by five minutes, and I usually do a little bit more than the five minutes. So I probably meditate probably about ten minutes. But I do set the alarm for five minutes so that I make it at least to five minutes and don't stop early. So what I do after clearing my mind for a few minutes then I say a prayer, and I say, Heavenly Father, please help me to feel the Spirit. 
And as long as my life is going well, as long as I haven't done any horrible things, then I usually am able to feel the spirit. I feel the happy, enlightening, uh, uplifting feeling in my heart. And so I allow that feeling to go through my body. And then I say, what does the spirit want to tell me today? What do I need to do today? What are, what's my purpose in life? What's my purpose for today? And I try to, le it's kind of like a prayer from the other end. I'm not doing the talking, I'm doing the listening. So I'm saying, Heavenly Father, I'm listening now. Please talk to me. I'm listening. And because I have pushed all the other thoughts out of my mind, then I start, then I start listening and then I feel inspired to do things. Uh, for example, I feel inspired to do this video for some reason. Um, and so I've been planning on doing this video and now I'm doing it because it's one of the things that came into my mind. I really ought to make a video about my first experiences meditating. I'm not an expert on it. I have meditated maybe 15 times now and I usually do it with, uh, after my morning routine and after I make my bed because when my bed is not made then I don't feel as peaceful but when my bed is made then I can I sit on the edge of my bed where I'm comfortable and I just put my hands to my side because that's where I'm comfortable and then I allow the spirit to talk to me and and I've been, I've been asking some important questions in my life right now, like I need a, like my kids are in school now and I need a job. What should I be doing to prepare for this job? And so I've been listening really hard, listening really, um, listening really intently to to feel the guidance that God wants to send me. And so meditation, so that is a good reason, that's a good purpose for meditation, is that you can feel closer to Christ and, and listen, to his, listen to his guidance, listen to his spirit, allow him to talk to you uh, after having cleared your mind of, the, of all the worldly noise that's in your head. There you go.